Hello, my friends. I hope you are doing wonderfully. Welcome back. I am super excited about today's video because we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, I will be showing you how I upcycled this clock into a magical butterfly inspired dream. Now, if you've seen my last couple of videos, you may know that I'm getting ready to renovate my office slash studio space. And the theme I'm going for is something super whimsical. And for the space, I need a clock. So since I have this ugly thrifted one that just doesn't really match my style very much, I thought that I would go ahead and just upcycle it. I'm a firm believer in using what you have around the house, not only to save money, but to save the environment. So turning something I already own into something more beautiful is a perfect way to do that. It's going to be super unique to me and my style and exactly what I'm looking for in the space that I'm creating. As always, materials and resources I use in this video will be linked in the description below. So don't forget to check there at the end of the video if you're wanting to do something similar. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. For supplies, I have my thrifted clock, thick watercolor paper, my iPad for tracing, glue, spray paint, watercolor paints, an X-Acto knife with extra blades, and paint brushes. So starting out, I'm using my iPad to find some pictures of butterflies for inspiration. When I found what I like, I transfer a couple of photos from Google into the app Procreate and begin tracing. I'm not great at freehand drawing, so I resort to tracing a lot. If you're good at freehand, you can always skip this step and draw your own without tracing. But for consistency, I'm using my iPad here. Now once I have the butterflies all traced out, I like to transfer these drawings over to my computer. There are a ton of ways to do this, but I'm using Adobe Illustrator here. I find the size of canvas that I need, and then from here it gets a little bit complicated. I'm not going to go through all of the steps on how to use Illustrator, but I will link a video below that shows what I did so that if you do decide you want to do this, you can follow that guide there. But ultimately what I did here was move my illustrations into the document expanded it, which means that now the butterfly illustrations will be separate objects that I can then move around and copy and paste to make more. As you can see, I have one full butterfly here and one that is in two pieces. I'm planning on cutting the two pieces out and then gluing them together to add a bit more dimension. After I have my butterflies all laid out, I bring down the opacity of the lines so that when I go to paint over them and cut them out, the lines aren't really noticeable, but I'll still have a guide. And once that's finished, I print them out. Here's a material I forgot to mention, acrylic paint. I'm using one of the color samples I got for my studio space that I've decided to use for the inside and the back of the face of the clock. I'm not worried too much about what it looks like here, since it'll be covered mostly by butterflies anyway. Once this has dried a bit, I'm going over it once more with a finer bristle brush, not only to add another layer, but to fill in those big brush strokes.
If you're unfamiliar with watercolor, here I'm wetting my paper down. This helps to prevent buckling or warping in the paper for when paint is applied. As for the color of these butterflies, I'm not going too crazy. I just want a light off-white and yellow, since the backdrop of these will be such a vibrant green. When cutting such thick paper, you'll want to replace your X-Acto blade fairly often, as the blades can get very dull pretty quickly. So once I've gotten all the butterflies cut out, I'm going to glue the two-piece butterfly together. As I stated earlier, I think this adds a bit more realism to the butterfly and some dimension. It's finally time to glue them all onto the clock. Here I'm using E6000. This is an extra strong glue. I'm hoping this will ensure that the glue won't weaken over time and that I won't end up with some missing pieces. I've decided to place them kind of coming in from all directions. When I was researching groups of butterflies, they tend to overlap one another when nesting together, and I wanted to try to emulate this. When I got to this stage of the process, I just didn't think the butterflies were enough, so I decided on using this Posca pen to add some dots for texture.
Oh my gosh. This took so much longer than I thought it would. It's definitely nothing fancy, but I just had this idea and I had to get it out by doing this. I'm really pleased with how it came out though. When I add this to my gallery wall in my studio, I hope that it brings that little bit of whimsy that I'm looking for. Unfortunately, I did have a little accident with this thing yesterday. I know that you saw in the very end right before this that I had the glass piece in front but I noticed that one of the hands was getting stuck on one of these butterfly wings and I had to take it apart and try and fix that and once I did my husband went to put it back together and the glass face just broke right in half oh my gosh it was so disappointing I was so sad but you know what it is what it is I'm not mad at him I'll just get him to buy me some books to make it up to me and you know, it just, it's what it is. It still serves its purpose. You can still see the time. And I think it's still pretty cute regardless of that fact. But yeah, the glass did kind of make it feel a little bit more fancy. So you live and you learn. These are the risks you take when upcycling things in your home. And you know what? As long as it still works and still serves its purpose, don't throw it out. That's not that important. Thank you so much for being here and staying to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that maybe this has inspired you to upcycle something in your home. I hope you have a very wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends.